Okay class, Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon So today I'm going to uh, We have been starting week 7 already Now we are going to We are already in week 8 actually So we are going to forward our Move our class into SOLIDWORKS So this is a get to know what SOLIDWORKS is Now in front of this I'm going to actually use this as our exercise today So if you have installed SOLIDWORKS, you know by now that you can either install SOLIDWORKS from 2012 to 2020, it's quite the same. You know by now that SOLIDWORKS is actually the same as AutoCAD. But before we do uh, AutoCAD, we are actually doing 3D in SOLIDWORKS. Since we did not do 3D in AutoCAD, so basically what we're going to do today is going to know, get to know Auto SOLIDWORKS and get to know how to do 3D. Just like in our exercise today. Alright. Now today I'm going to explain to you two parts. The first of all is to uh, let me just I don't know how. To, okay, maybe just put it here. I think put it here is easy. I'm just going to show you this once you have click on AutoCAD. Uh, sorry, sorry, works. First thing you need to do is you need to go to File. Okay, and click on New. That's number one. So once it come out, you can either choose either part, assembly or drawing. Now the first thing that you need to do is, the difference between this is, part is only one part, assembly is a combination of all parts. So you have drawn three or four parts, then you combine in assembly. This one is drawing. Basically drawing is once you have completed parts, you want to put it in the title block. So this is drawing. Today we're going to use parts. Okay, click on OK. Alright, once it come out, make sure you look at up here, you have, uh, click on this SOLIDWORKS, you can have find tools, file, file, edit view, and so on, the paint table. Below here, you have all the tabs, they call you, they call it as a ribbon, oh, okay, this is a ribbon, you can remove this if you want, okay, because it's already here, so you can remove this one, this is called a ribbon. And this one is called a uh, feature manager design tree. Okay. On the right side, let me just move my face. On the right side, you also have also a design feature manager tree. For example, you have, uh, you can also use this. Okay. This is the layout. You can remove this because it's already here in sketch. So you have home tab just to explain to you what your, uh, what is SOLIDWORKS how they do the property tab builder and how the solid work tools is function the second one is called the design library this is where the design tools are the toolbox you can find a lot of parts such as screws nuts and so on and this one is a file explorer explorer where you have your all the files that you have saved bottom here known as the view palette okay I'm not sure why it's not open uh, okay because there is nothing inside the view palettes at the moment in the appearance scene and decals you can use a lot of uh, colors for example plastic you have metal aluminium these are all the colors that inside that are inside the library and this is a custom apply well if you want to close this you just click on this one on the drawing pane okay this is all the view you have first of all the zoom to fit zoom area previous view section view and so on first of all what we need to know is that drawing in SOLIDWORKS requires you to change the preference so changing the preference you just click on options or you just go file tools now if you don't if you couldn't uh, if you couldn't find where the option menu is you can just use this one okay option so just by clicking option this will come out and you need to go to the document properties where you are drawing if you look at the overall drafting standard what you need to know is 
you are doing using ISO so you just leave that be your annotation you can change the length the height of the annotation change the ladder uh, that is for your title block later on your dimension also you can change the size you can also change the font of the dimension you do, if you don't want century gothic you can change to other dimensions I'm just going to leave, be, leave, leave it be uh, another one is uh, detailing this one is if you remember geometric dimension and tolerance you can click on that datum and so on the snap and grid okay this one is already specified the most important part is unit so what we want is you need for you to change your millimeter grams and second use this and use decimals of 0.12 if you don't want decimals of 0.12 you can re reduce it to 0.1 only but I'm going to state with this one your model display material properties and so on that you can leave behind in system pro option you can see that the maximum display you can change this to one if you have a small very small uh, RAM you don't need to put until 50 just change to one the area hatch this one can also be changed this is uh, if you have done or completely finish your section view you can change this one you can also change the color of your background for example mine is uh, in uh, this color you can change to say if you want blue can click on blue and click on OK. Okay. Uh, okay. This is the viewport background. So to change this background, you have to find the other uh, um, other background. For example, your drawing, your drawing paper color, your drawing background. Okay, and so on. Okay. I'm just going to stick with this one. Let's see if this works or not. Okay, maybe um, possibly is different from what I understand, but the colors is basically basically what the uh, should be drawn. Okay, I'm just going to stick with this one, but you can you can actually uh, study this one by one, understand the colors uh, if you want to make sure the colors behind background is. But the best the the, the most important thing is for you to to view easily your drawing. So that's why I choose I choose my color gray, light gray. My sketch, uh, you can you can you you don't have to change anything from all of this. Just leave it be and click on OK. Once you have uh, already specify your drawing, okay. Once you've done that, there is the bottom here. You can see the 3D view model and so on. But this one we will be doing this later on in animation. For the time being, if you move your cursor, you can see that there is a front view, top view, and right view. Now, to draw this, where do we want to start first? Remember, we should start from the front view. Okay, so it's given the front view dimension is this, 7. So the height is 32. The length is about 40 to the center of this. And 40 to the center of this so basically you have 13 from here to here that is about 13 so say you have this 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 9 is 29 39 and this one is 49 50 50 51 52 53 54 55 so it's 32 by 55 okay so go to the front plane click it and go to normal to and then right click again the front plane and click on sketch so the sketching tab okay the sketch tab will come out and you have a center point there now you can start here from your view with, with the center point here so by drawing a rectangle you click on here set the rectangle there to make this a center you just click on this one zoom to fit and it will fit all the drawings inside now, if you want to make sure that, that you, your area only you want to do to draw, click on the zoom to area, just click this, and it will increase. But I would prefer to have my drawing zoom to fit. Okay, click on add relation, set this one. You can set this one horizontal, 
and vertical but since I'm not going to use this rectangle I'm just going to click OK and then I will try to draw all of this drawing starting from this one 7 13 and then uh, 32 minus by 7 is 25 okay so start drawing here 7 and then 13 there you can actually just draw based on your what you want you have drawn it doesn't matter what the most important thing is you need to set the dimension for after that okay remove just by click on the trimming entities you can remove this previous rectangle just by removing it just by clicking it okay if you accidentally click uh, delete this you can just go and type control Z and you will still have you will have your your type your drawing back so now we're going to go to smart dimension before that you click on control and click on here it will come out this point view set the control voltage to zero and zero and click on coincident click on OK so this is already marked as your fixed point so you don't need to move it anymore now we want to measure the dimension set this dimension first as 7 okay you might not see the changes but it is 7 later you will see the differences second point here is 13 here to here is 13 okay now you see the changes remember this one is 25 is it 25 or yeah it's 32 from here to here so basically it's 32 minus by 7 is 25 click on enter okay and you can do the rest this is 10 9 10 13 okay 10 enter <clears throat> 9 10 25 13 and 7 it says that the dimension is driven so you click on ok to make sure that dimension doesn't move anymore okay so you have complete all of this seven and and you left one behind so make sure you draw this one so the height this this is at the center so basically from the center to here is 6.5 and then this is 6.5 the height the height should be between okay also this one okay this the, this one uh, from here to here from here to here you can you don't you you need to specify it also <clears throat> and here to here you also need to specify so this one this drawing here you have to specify as well so to take to specify the center line go to the where the line is click on center line find the center line just by moving your cursor to this point and moving it to the center here so now you can draw the center line just like that okay and click on escape you have a drawing here 6.5 that is about 6.5 here 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 and here so you can change the this uh, point here make sure this point you track on control and this point is vertical okay I mean I may have to move this okay click on vertical and click on okay so it doesn't move anymore so and then you change this dimension here from here to here 
change to 13 now okay uh, okay this one needs to be removed first okay you undo this uh, this one okay click on this dimension from this one to this one is 6.5 and this one to this one is 6.5 okay now the problem is to find the height from here to here and the height from here to here so how do you find this height okay how do you find this height is by okay first it's not been given so we need to draw the the we we need to assume first and then we can edit it later okay let's assume this drawing first uh, to be here to here let's just assume it right now as currently it sits at 18.36 so we just leave it there leave it, leave it be and 6.27 and just leave it be okay later on we can modify it all right 6.5 again all right so once you have done all this you need to trim the drawing this drawing here you have to trim yes click on again to continue trim this drawing as well click on yes that leaves you only with two drawing all right what we want to do here is we want to do our first feature so we don't have to leave exit sketch or you can just click on exit sketch and lift as it sketch and click on feature tab and click on extrude now you click on this and this as your extrusion i want to move the extrusion to the back so basically i'm going to change this one to the back so how much is the extrusion from this point to this point is about 16 okay it's about 16 so go to this dimension click on this to 16 type 16 click on ok so this is your first extrude drawing okay so you have that figure the rest is to complete the circle okay complete the circle and the circle here so first of all what we're going to do is to draw the circle at the bottom here so the circle is basically um, seven, seven inch, seven in diameter, seven millimeter in diameter. So we're going to take, click on this where we want to draw. Right click and click on normal tool. Click on sketch and click choose circle. Okay. You can just assume as long as this, you can assume first and then we can edit later on so the first circle is 7 so basically it's about 3.5 millimeter the second circle is approximately this is the same size which is around 3.5 mm, millimeter okay once you have done completely completely done this one you go to back to features and click on extrude cut the second features that we have drawn Okay, it gives you a, a decision making which allows you to cut this circle what we want to do is to use through all so basically it will cut through all and click on ok there you have the circle been drawn next is to draw this rectangle here or the cut off here so the difference between this one to this one is about six and the length is you need to uh, <coughs> since you, you are, we need to specify this is probably the center so the center uh, it's about here to the center and here it's about with assumption since we have uh, been given that the size the length is 13 plus 13 is 26 36 46 54 okay the length is about 50 
sorry, 55. So minus by 40 is 45. Sorry, minus by 40 is 15. So you are left with 7.5 here and a 7.5 here. So the circle should be about 7.5 from this uh, border here. So is is what that is what we're doing 7.5 or not? Go back to here. Go to sketch again. You can modify each sketch just by pressing, uh, just click on normal tool and edit sketch. Now we measure. Is the sketch really from here to here 7.5? Wrong, right? It's not 7.5. So basically we need to change this to 7.5. So type in 7.5. The uh, shape will move. Also this one and this one. We want to make sure it is 7.5 so it's moved okay and click on ok and exit sketch now the shape has moved again we can see that the uh, distance from here okay the distance from here to here is 10 uh, sorry 7 6 6 from here to here is 6 so basically we need to uh, 6 7.5 okay so what you need to do is to draw uh, 6 here and a 7.5 7 7.5 to here and a 10 here a uh, 6 here so go again here and click on um, first of all click this one okay click on right click and sketch okay now it comes out with a new sketch click on the line measure until 7.5 okay just about 7.5 here is 6 and this one you can change the dimension by going to the go to the smart dimension click on this one 6 7.5 that is the distance how do we want to copy this to this one okay later on I'll show you how first we have to extrude cut this go to feature and click on extrude cut and you can extrude this you can see the extrude cut and click on through all so you can extrude cut this now to copy this one to this one what you need to do is you need to specify another plane so go back to this one if you look at this one the right plane is set exactly at the border of this object so from here to the center you need to calculate back here is uh, 13 is in the center so 6.5 or we just calculate 9 uh, 4.5 plus 10 is 14.5 plus 13 <clears throat> 24 27.5 so basically what we want is this copy to the 27.5 so what we're going to do is we go to the feature this is the third feature uh, that we have we are going to use which is reference geometry click on this reference geometry and click on plane now there is another plane that you see this is the original plane this is another plane that you want to see so the distance from that plane that we have been given is 27.5 so this is the center exactly the center right this is what we want and click on ok so we want to mirror or copy this to this one this uh, feature to this feature so what we're going to do is we click on mirror okay mirror plane one features to mirror is this one so you click on features and you click on ok so there the features has been mirrored exactly as what we have one you can also do with all the other objects that once we have done this one and finally we want to specify the <clears throat> last circle which is about 7 mm 7 mm from Okay, it's not given how many height, what is the height, but at least I'm just going to show you the circle. 
so basically to draw a circle first you need to specify its distance uh, it's where you want to draw so I'm going to specify here I'm going to make this as a normal tool showing where I want to draw now before that you need to set where which plane you want to do okay so my uh, exact drawing should be uh, drawing should be placed on the which plane you want you so click on the right plane or either the right plane or the plane one to draw the circle so once you have drawn the, the you have clicked on plane one just right click this normal two then click on sketch and set the center find the center and draw the circle with a dimension of seven so go to smart dimension change this to seven once you have done that we're going to extrude cut now currently it's only extruding one cut because we are drawing on the plane here so it's only extruding one cut how do we uh, extrude the other one now to move the the object you just need to click the mouse uh, scroll to see this so to add another one is by cl clicking on direction 2 and you will have another cut so you can also use through all for both and see that the drawing has been given uh, showing the direction of the cut so you click on ok and the cut has been done the last for this class okay once we have completed this one the last class that we're going to do is to draw a fillet a fillet sorry a fillet so we are going to click on the final this is the fourth one or the final one the first one was extrude second one was extrude cut and then the third one was mirror finally we're going to draw use fillet so to use fillet you just click on fillet it will come out and ask you which type of fillet you want either constant size variable size face fillet full round fillet so we are going to use constant size we're going to choose this border here this is uh, not the same as the what it is shown in the drawing but this is an example I want to reduce this fillet so that it becomes a bit round so I'm going to change this to since it is not round yet I'm going to use 6 you can see that the fillet has changed so you click on OK and you will see there is a fillet shape uh, available on your drawing so if you have watched my title block you can save this first okay to view to view the all the views this one is to set fit this one is to view view the area okay and this one is to previously view the previous drawing this is to view the section view so you can move this either from here to view the section view of this drawing you can also change the view by type by clicking on this one as your front view this is your right view this is your bottom view if you want to view it in isometric view just click on isometric or a trimetric view just click on trimetric or diametric or even doing a trimetric view you can use both of this isometric view is my my uh, and then to hide this just click on right click on it and just hide by clicking hide and it will hide all the views display you can change the display without the shades it just only for the shades just like that display with just wireframe with hidden visible line as well and this one without the hidden just the visible line so my preference would be this one in your feature tree manager you can specify the material just by clicking right click the edit material there is a lot of multiple uh, views of these properties you can set the properties or change the appearances 
my uh, suggestion would be to draw using a uh, wood for example so I would like to draw an oak and I will apply this and click on close this becomes an oak okay you can play around with the views or you can just click on here change the just move this to this point it will change your uh, views um, a lot of colors are mostly for example uh, plastic Okay, plastic is uh, or painted, galvanized. For example, gold, you can click on gold, move this. Okay. Here is gold. Okay. But you need to have a very uh, powerful uh, graphic card. Okay. Since my graphic card is not powerful, it changes, it doesn't really maintain the, the views. So what you need to do is right click, edit material remove the appearances change to uh, change back hopefully this can okay let, let's just see what if plastic is possible or not click on apply yep okay so you can either change from here or change from this one <clears throat> okay so that's all for today's class and that's all all the four uh, references that we have learned today extrude extrude cut reference geometry as well as fillet that's four and another one is mirror that's five already okay so make sure you save file go to save and make sure you save say if you want to save in your uh, teaching and learning you want to save change this name to exercise one one make sure your solidworks file is dot prt or sld prt and save click on ok and that's it you can that's that's that is all for today thank you very much